Hey, what's up guys? YouTube. This is Xbox 360 Professor coming back with another tutorial. This is for the LT Plus 1.91 on how to flash it back to stock. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the latest version of Jungle Flasher, which is 1.86 beta. And right now I'm actually just loading up my uh, source firmware, the one that I dumped using the MRA hack. The reason I'm bringing up those notepads is because I want to hide my DVD key. I don't want to make that public. So once we do that, we go ahead and open the target firmware, and this is going to be the new source target. Uh, as you already probably know, they, Microsoft has changed the new target firmware. It's going to be the 0251C, I believe. That will be after the 13141 uh, dashboard update. They've changed the target firmware now, depending on your drive. Mine is the 78450C model. And once I loaded both of those up, I did click on spoof source to target so that both the keys match. And right now I'm just verifying everything is okay. And once we make sure everything is okay, we click on save to file and we just save the, uh, the custom firmware somewhere. It doesn't matter. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and proceed in flashing the drive. So the first thing we do is click on Light on Erase and click on Yes on both of these pop-ups. Uh, we're going to wait for it to air out, and once it does, we'll go ahead and power cycle the drive. It says Device Intro Failed at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and power cycle the drive. Now we're going to go in and click on the intro device ID. Now I did this wrong. You're supposed to actually power cycle. You're supposed to click yes on that first and then power cycle the drive, but I did the opposite. But it doesn't matter because it still gives you the good flash chip properties. But um, I, I normally click yes on that and then power cycle it, and it should give you that. The uh, 0x72. And right there, you see you get the uh, flash chip properties. So you're good to go. So the next step you would do after that is to write the drive. So you click on write. It's going to go ahead and erase and flash the drive. It says write verified OK. And we just click on the outro A to reset. and make sure that it does say drive is light on and you're good to go so you would actually take this process to flash it back to stock in order to apply any updates that Microsoft releases for Xbox Live because it's recommended to go back to stock get the updates and then go to um, the uh, new firmware so I'm going to go ahead and proceed to the, uh, the second part of the tutorial where we're going to flash it to the new firmware LT Plus 1.91